Conserving Mount Nambukalevu in Kandavu is a project that was initiated in 2008 and has been funded by the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program, NZA, BirdLife International and BirdLife Fiji Program. This project aims to conserve Mount Nambukalevu with its unique forest biodiversity. The island of Kandavu is situated approximately 90 kilometers south of the main island of Viti Levu and is Fiji's fourth largest. The island is 410 square kilometers in size, approximately 50 kilometers in length, and its width varies from a few hundred meters to 10 kilometers. It is a volcanic archipelago consisting of three main islands and a number of smaller islands in the Great Astrolobe Reef. The island is one of the most rugged areas of Fiji, with a number of high mountains and few roads. Kandavu still has 75% of its original rainforest cover and a rich bird diversity including four species endemic to the island in addition to several endemic subspecies. Kandavu is characterized by its rugged and mountainous terrain. Mount Nambukalevu is the highest mountain on Kandavu and supports the largest area of montane forest in the west of the island. It is a spectacular isolated mountain rising steeply right from the sea to more than 800 meters with its unique forest biodiversity. The site was designated as an important bird area in 2005 under BirdLife's Global Priority Site because it supports globally significant populations of four bird species endemic to Kandavu, those being the whistling dove, the globally threatened crimson shining parrot, the wattled honey eater and the Kandavu fantail. Additionally, it is the only known nesting site of the Polynesian storm petrel in Fiji and it is one of a handful of sites critical for the survival of the collared petrel. Fiji has a total of 27 endemic bird species, that of which 26 are land birds and one seabird. Mount Nambukalevu supports all four species and eight subspecies of birds that are endemic to Kandavu. This site is believed to be of high biodiversity importance for other species as well and is also a vital source of natural resources for the surrounding villages. Nambukalevu is an agricultural community that depends heavily on root crop production to provide income. The whole of Kandavu is known for its production of kava and Nambukalevu is renowned for yam taro. These two products form the basis of village economies. Unsustainable agricultural practices resulting in the degradation of agricultural land and the need for communities to clear new areas of forests for subsistence agriculture is the greatest threat to the important bird area. Additionally, the quality of water has decreased in the past decade where villages suffer water shortage during prolonged dry periods. Further soil erosion, if not addressed, is liable to cause siltation of the marine protected areas proximal to western Kandavu and cause a loss of agricultural areas for future generations. In attempting to address this issue in Nambukalevu, an integrated package of resource management awareness workshops were undertaken by the NGO partners on best agricultural practices, forest protection and restoration, all with the one purpose to safeguard biodiversity interests and enhance sustainable community livelihoods. This project has introduced and promoted sustainable land management practices on the sloping agricultural lands such as the use of pineapple and vetiver grass to effectively control soil erosion and water runoff and develop management procedures for currently unused degraded land for agricultural production as an alternative to clearing forests to access new agricultural plots. Additionally, the community will also train on how to declare protected areas supported by an appropriate legal mechanism, management planning process and effective monitoring. Most importantly, the community has initiated a native forest restoration project identifying key areas to maximize soil and water conservation. They are now able to also provide adequate facilities for aftercare and continuation of forest restoration post-project. This project was agreed to be a pilot project for the district of Nambukalevu and be exemplary to other villages on the island. The communities of Nambukalevu have achieved just that, enhancing their awareness and understanding of biodiversity value and sustainability 
and encompassing a higher capacity to sustainably manage natural resources. They are now active earth watchers who are able to contribute adequately to the conservation and sustainable management of Fiji's unique biodiversity for the benefit of current and future generations.